Howdy folks, my name is Lanzo90, and welcome back to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, where it's actually raining for the first time in this entire series. <laughs> so, uh, rain. Hmm. What about rain? Well, if you have funnels attached to your car, like you can build funnels onto your car. I don't know if we need to have an empty spot. Let's try like right here. Or actually, let's find our... Let's find our clean water tank. There it is. We should be able to install. Yeah, see, install a funnel. If you install a funnel like that, it will fill the tank that is underneath it. Uh, we wouldn't want to do that though, because I think it's dirty water and rain. Could be wrong with that. I haven't, I have never tried it because like I said, they made it so it stopped raining a long time ago. So I, uh, I stopped bothering with something like that. Um, plus it's so easy to just clean water that I don't really, worry about it that much then it used to be they could also have acid rain and then you could collect acid which would, <laughs> which would be freaking awesome um i'm guessing that like the main reason that that isn't happening is either for realism maybe which is weird <laughs> it's a uh, post-apocalypse where demons and zombies are attacking so it's like really uh acid rain's too far uh, and then the other reason i think is just because your system wouldn't work anymore, right? Suddenly you'd get acid in your water supply and water in your acid supply, which wouldn't work. And uh, as far as I know, there's, I guess there'd be no way to like prevent it from happening. You would have to know in advance if it's going to one way or another, what it's going to rain and then take your funnels down or something. But the other thing with the rain is it does give you a morale penalty for being wet. And we'll... We'll sacrifice our character's mood to prove it. Walk around. Might take a while. Did we grab outdoorsman? I don't think we did, because I talked about how it never run how, how it never rains. No, we're not outdoorsmen or anything, so our characters should get mad from being wet. The thing is also your uh your clothing can protect you from being wet based on what it says. So if you look at our army hat, won't let the water through. You might have a lot of stuff that's like that, actually. Our face isn't protected. Yeah, our heavy survivor suit doesn't let water through, and it's like covering your whole body. Our gloves don't let water through. So maybe we're not going to get a mood penalty here. Yeah, like, yeah, that's our entire body cover. Other than our face, our face might get wet. So we might not get a mood penalty for that. Um, I think that's about it for rain, though. That's about all you can do with it. Um, like I said, it used to rain so much in the game. The outdoorsmen actually became really good. Outdoorsmen and... There's one other one. I don't think it was Thick Skins. Something else. Outdoorsmen was one for sure. And then something else gave, like, a small bonus to not being... Not getting mood penalties from being wet, and then they were worth taking. Because if you do something like work on a car and it's raining, that's going to take hours if you're outside of the car. And uh, your character will get very, very angry and wet. Yeah. Also, it makes it dark outside. But it just also happens, it happened to get dark at the same time that the rain hit anyway. So to close up all of our windows. This one is apparently not open. Let's see, we were reading. We are tired now, and it is dark, so we will cease reading. And get some sleep in. I don't know about you guys. I sleep better in the rain in real life. <laughs> We'd hope that our character would, too. I think technically, though, you probably stand a better chance of being waking up when it's raining, because I think it makes noise. Like a very low level noise in the game. So I think it could wake your character up if they're a, a light seeper, for instance. It's clear, but it is still dark out, which is fine. We have our pile light. All right. Do they have anything like good to go to eat? Not really. I'm going to go ahead and knock out this... Uh, we should check if we can use the chili con carne for anything. Chili con carne. If 
can actually make a, a meat sandwich with our spam. Let's do that, actually. Three with the spam. Because the spam is going to go bad fairly soon. Here we go. And drink. Let's go try to find our tea here. Green tea. There we go. Oh. Full on thirsty, which is always <laughs> always unpleasant because we can't fix that. So we'll put our meat sandwiches in the fridge. Okay. We were trying to... Oh, yeah. We were just trying to recover our... Our exhaustion. Our weariness isn't actually all the way up. I don't know if we can get it up higher, though. I feel like uh, reading is actually like a mild activity in this game, but we'll see. Let's read some. Oh, let's activate our MP3 player first. Also, obviously, rain will put out fires a lot quicker, too. That's the other thing about rain. Let's read this, see if it improves our weirdness. Oh, I guess it doesn't change our weirdness. We might as well level up at this point. There you go. Okay. I wonder if we should get the botkin arrows. Probably just switch to the gun to go take out this laboratory. Our bow is awesome, but it's not going to penetrate some zombies here. We could use the bodkins to do it, but yeah. Might as well just use the gun at that point. Okay. Drink. Might as well eat, too. Uh, tea. I have to brew more tea. We'll have to do the thing I talked about, making the... <laughs> A giant container of tea. <laughs> mm. I have to do that in a dedicated video, though, for the for the memory of it. All right. Turn this thing around. Let's go attack this lab. Could be a mistake. Seems like there's some pretty strong zombies there. However, we are heavily armed. Heavily armed, heavily armored. They have, even have an NPC that we could send as a lamb to the slope. Wow, that thing actually tried to come after us, huh? Wonder if I should just hit this thing. I don't know if I want to damage my... See, the front of my car is actually pretty beat up, but fighting a zombie in a gas cloud. You know what? We talked about this. We talked about grabbing our our gas mask. So let's grab a gas mask. I'm pretty sure I have one. Let's put some distance between us. And actually, might be able to just activate ours. Yes. Okay. I, just, I forgot that our, our thing could activate. Now, there's no point in trying to shoot it. Because it's camouflaged in gas. That's how that works. Makes it very difficult. Step on my button, little kitty. Sometimes steps on that. I tied my foot pedal to the V key so I could use it for active chat. Hopefully it's not draining like super quick. Where is this thing? Oh, weird. Maybe it's not there, just... I don't know what this thing's doing, though. It's weird that it's, like, not trying to chase me or anything. There it goes. Ashen Brawler, what do you even look like? A gigantic, twisted human frame with a menacing stance and rapid movements, thick clothed clouds of smoke. Smoke! Or from a violent-looking excavations. Spread across its body. Turns pretty elongated massively. It's real big. I don't know, like, what... I don't know if it's a Hulk or if it's a Brute as far as, like, 
its equivalency. What I am going to do is activate some chewing gum. Wow, I didn't expect him to actually get to me. All right, I would say he's probably a Hulk because he is uh, tossing me around like I'm nothing. Oh, wow, he actually loses track here real quick, huh? Bro, you really have to break my... I'm trying to get him stuck on something, you know? Dang, okay. We're not going to be able to mess around with that because he can throw me around like I'm nothing. We're just going to have to fight him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I didn't see our mood go down, so I think our gas mask actually worked. I actually used the, the gas mask effectively for once. Didn't leave anything behind. Hello, berries. Some kind of new plant, too. Burdock. It's weird to kill a giant zombie and then pick some berries, but... I don't know. Ooh, peach tree. If we planted like summertime food, we might have it might have been grown by now. Okay, we gotta grab our grab our bag if we're gonna grab more fruit here. We'd better do something with the fruit too, so so it doesn't go bad like right away. Put it in the fridge, of course, but I mean, turn it into something. I usually turn it into compote or compot. I don't know how you're supposed to say it. It's basically just like a mixed juice drink. Yeah, we can actually spend like a really long time just going through the forest and gathering stuff if we wanted to, but no. No, you guys probably don't want to do that. Also, not like we need to. Like, we can, we can survive on freaking... Still have our protein rations from the start of the game. It's just they're not good food, you know? Yeah, I'll just ca cap us off there and drop this food off. Maybe it'll open up a thing or two. Oh, why is this gas mask cartridge still active? Does it turn on? Okay, I'm gonna unload it. I don't need it on all the time. There we go. It's weird, that doesn't turn off. That's uh, That seems like a bug. That could be wrong. Maybe that's kind of how gas masks work, but... Alright. Question becomes, do we want our ally to come with us on this, uh... Journey? No, because I might be shooting things with... Well, I don't know. Hmm. He hasn't really been... I don't think he's been helping us do anything anymore. Also kind of like the idea of him just being here to guard the building or guard the vehicle. What we do need to do though is grab our guns. Get my gun. Actually, all we need is our, our primary rifle. I'm not sure exactly where I put that here. Our standard magazines. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of zombies. Like, really advanced zombies, too. Oh, frick, that's a shocker zombie. Shocker zombies are a real bad time. I think we 
we need to park the car further away, to be honest with you, because we don't want these guys destroying the vehicle. We put a lot of work in this vehicle. Put it here around the corner so they can't see it, but that I can, uh, in fact, leave the doors open. It's defended. Okay. That's scary. So the shocker zombie you don't want to mess with. It used to not be too tough. But they've made it an extremely tough zombie. It is effectively a mini boss. Let's see, we could wonder what our what our aim will be if I wait the max amount of time here. Not actually any better, just makes it so our current aim is as good as our precise aim. That attracted all of them. Okay. I don't think that's how we want to do this. Huh. Something is killing somebody. I think the robots will fight zombies. I just heard the sound effect of something dying. I think we want to pull one by one and kill them with melee attacks, to be honest with you. I'm just going to move the car because now they're going to be heading that way. I think we would rather try to kill them one by one with our fire axe. for an emergency situation would be good. It's just, uh... You don't want to fight things with the golf bag on. It's the problem. But I've also need to in order to switch guns. Take it with us and then just drop it a little bit closer. Hello, grapes. Oh, I guess our mini fridge is full, huh? All right, there we go. We've attracted one. One or two. Just the scientist, too. The scientist wasn't the problem. It's all the other ones. Get bodied. Hand over your key card. He doesn't have one. A soldier. Not too big of a deal. tool. I think we've already got one, don't we? Oh, they've changed MREs, haven't they? Now there's like lots of... <laughs> interesting. Makes sense. But yeah, the... I think as far back as just our last uh, update, the MREs were not like that, so... Interesting. Looks like firing the gun actually kind of worked to get them spread out, though, which is nice. That Black Ops zombie might suck. We'll have to see. There is like super soldier zombies out there and we don't want to mess with them. Not sure the black ops zombie is the super soldier zombie though. Our 
suppose not gonna work on these guys. So we're just gonna ask, ask them a question. On the good old step back strats. Hello, M4A1 plus one. Do you have a task for you as that plus one? That's the big question. So I want your ammo, and then I want whatever is attached to you. I think if we activate it, we'll take off. Shoulder strap. Uh, well, that's what we need. Oh. I don't think it. Move modification, enter to rear. Okay. That's a slightly different menu than I've seen before. Fire axe. Let's head back. It's a bit of a bit of a jaunt, but might turn on our MP3 player too because our focus is a little low. Yeah, these berries are gonna have to just go in the other food chest for now. Let's see, I don't know where I put my. Oh, it's in the bag. Dang it. I'm done. I'll drop off this magazine for now. Forgot that I dropped the bag off closer to me. To the bag. Shoulder strap to the I I A R. Drop. Oops. The I A R. The magazines. The golf bag. Where the I A R. Carry two magazines at least. Okay. Just as an emergency backup weapon, mostly. How bad is the encumbrance? Oh. No encumbrance. What the heck? Where are you attached to? Oh, you're strapped, I bet. And I don't have the, the backpack on. Well, it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, there's a, an icon for it now. That's cool. It's got to be the strap layer. I don't know it's not. I don't need to show me, but there's literally cool gun art now. Neat. Just so I have something I can panic switch to if I need a lot of damage. Although, as we've seen, our melee damage is about the same as the, uh, the gun damage at this point. You the black ops zombie. So are the me. So. Oh, wow. It's like literally black ops. I thought it just meant that it was like a, you know, like a black ops officer in real life that's been turned into a zombie. So he has like better armor and stuff. But no, he's like literally like sort of invisible. Shadowy smoke that obscures its outline, making camouflage even harder to see against the dark ground. In the darkness, it would be nigh invisible. That's fine. It is not dark. I don't think he's a super soldier, though. He's just... He might be hard to hit. It'd be awesome if one of these guys had, like, a power armor of some kind on. Critical. 
I wait one step too long. Grenades might also come in handy, but I don't have enough inventory space without the backpack. We are out of time for this episode, though. I hope you all enjoyed, and the next one will be attacking this laboratory head on. But I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit the like button, keep the conversation going in the comments, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until next time, I hope you have a good day.